both uh, cystic areas where the epigenesis is from them. This is an epigenetic area given for calcification, giving posterior shadow, and you can see within this, this is the cyst, and within this cyst there are multiple tiny cystic areas. Here we see an epigenic area protruding into the cystic area, into the cyst. This is an epigenic area that is seen protruding within the cyst and we see multiple cysts within this area. If, we can, if I consider this area as an, another Part, then this is a cyst, this is a cyst, this is a cyst, and this is an e evenly equogenic solid area measuring 37 by 30 millimeters, 37 by 30 millimeters, no posterior wall acoustic enhancement, no calcification in the scene. However, this is a tiny area with posterior shadowing. This is the calcification in this uh, particular well demarcated multicystic area and this region by itself is all cyst. I have decreased again to see this so that you, do, you are not seeing any other uh, echoes or septas within this uh, view. So this uh, increases our differential to Maybe a morgagnesis, not morgagnesis. And why I was concentrated on concentrating on pancreas was to rule out uh, any possibility of uh, pseudopancreatic cyst. Having seen the pancreas normal and uh, all the other organs normal, this cyst is most probably either representative of a mucinous cyst adenoma or a mesenteric, complicated mesenteric cyst on ultrasound. Now this here, if, when I increase again, you can see the echoes properly, but here you can see them but it compromises the quality of the image. Now, this is the echogenic area on the right side, about the right iliac vessel. This is the right iliac vessel, and this is the area on the left side with multiple cysts over the net. So this is the total cyst, which I can get transcribed dominally. Let's see what is the approximate uh, volume of this cystic area. This is the longitudinal section. Excuse me, do again. These are the left, this is the left eye first. So we see that the calculated volume is more than 20. 2500 cc and uh, when the surgical intervention will be performed, I can assure you the volume will exceed 3000 uh, milliliters and uh, even we may be able to 
see, uh, maybe the fluid is more than three liters. So minimum three liters, I will uh, consider is the fluid present. This is the aorta above the. This is the aorta. This is the thick area. And now why we were seeing this uh, hydronephrosis on the right side? Because the pressure of the cyst on the right ureter is much more as compared to the pressure on the right left side. So that's the reason for this uh, uh, hydronephrosis or in the right kidney. So this is because of the pressure effect or the mass effect from this large cystic area uh, on this uh, on the right ureter. <coughs> Though it's seen on both sides. This is paracolic gutter. Region of the paracolic gutter, these are the septa, this is a thick and complete septa. This is what we call a thick complete septa. This is the left source of muscle, this band of tissue, this is the cyst. And if you see that the cyst is only, what is the group here, it's only 11.7 millimeter deep to this anterior abdominal wall. This is the case of, 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 of a, a large cyst more than, with a volume of more than three liters filling all of the whole of the abdomen, abdominal cavity with mass effect on the right ureter as <coughs> evident by hydronephrosis, a light hydronephrosis, not uh, relating to the pancreas, liver, kidney, and uh, with dependent region, solid echogenic area, this one, as well as uh, multi cystic area on the right side, uh, sorry, on the left side, this one, and a uh, solid area on the left side, maybe the, the, on, in the dependent region, and, the, and an eco fill is filled with echos with hypoplastic uterus as well as ovaries in a 12 years old child with non-developed secondary sex characteristics. No breast development, there is no, there are no pubic hairs. You see that we don't see any pubic hairs in this region and uh, the child, the uh, breast is not developed and uh, so, and as such, if we see the patient as a whole, she does not look like a 12 years old adult or 11 years old. So, she is uh, underdeveloped. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah. Her development is compromised. Thank you.